Oh, the Washington football team, they could wrap up the NFC East today if the Giants lose and they beat Carolina. Yeah, you know, Ron Rivera, the head coach, you know, he would love to beat his old team, but yeah, you know, I think more than that, he wants to win that division, and they can win the division. They can ride that defense because their defense is as good as anybody in the league. Offensively, that's a different story. You know, they've been outscored in the first half two to one. On top of that, now you got Dwayne Haskins at quarterback. He throws as many interceptions as he does touchdowns. They got to stick with the running game. Antonio Gibson and Lamar Miller will help him in the running game. And Haskins has got to be disciplined. How he's as undisciplined on the field as he is off the field. Yeah, and and that's the issue, Jimmy. I mean, we were we were sitting around here talking about Dwayne Haskins and you know everything that's led up to today. You know, last year the team looking to down the ball in the victory formation. And the starting quarterback's off on the sideline taking a selfie with a fan. Okay, fine. And then earlier in the year, after a loss, he gets the start. It throws for over 300 yards. He's bragging in the locker room about his numbers, which prompted Ron Rivera to bump him back to third team. This latest indiscretion, whether it was a strip club or a party and you without a mask and strippers and the whole thing, with Ron Rivera very publicly battling cancer and just recently going through his last treatment of chemo. For him to do that, I mean, you could write the earlier things off as immature, but this is more than immature. This is selfish, and it, it, and it really, it's not what you want your starting quarterback to be. I don't know what his future is, but I don't think it has Ron Rivera in it. It bothers me. It makes me mad. Yeah. You know what makes me mad? Because you have these guys who work so hard to get to a certain point in your life. You wanted to make it to the NFL. Now you're in the NFL, and a lot of guys think, oh, I'm drafted, I'm in the NFL, I've made it. No, you haven't. You're just in the NFL. And this goes as quickly as it comes your way. And the NFL is very impatient. They don't have time to babysit. They will not babysit a grown man. So the more of these things you keep on doing, the less patience that Washington's going to have with you, which in turn means the rest of the league's not going to want you either. And one day you're going to find yourself sitting on the couch. You're going to be in your mid-20s, late-20s, and you're going to regret not doing what you needed to do to be the best that you could be at something you're so talented at, and you're going to waste your talent, and you're going to sit on there, and you're going to watch guys who weren't as talented as you, weren't picked as high as you, you're going to watch them compete and play and do the things that you could have done. So get it together, because there are no more excuses. I hate, hate watching guys throw their opportunities away. And this is the second time this season they've had to fine him for violating COVID protocol, so this is not a one-off thing.